Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Photoshop and in particular 2021 version and creating star designs. So I've got a star design there, I'm just going to quickly remove. So how can you create a star in Photoshop? Simply just go over here to the tools and down to polygon tool. So with polygon tool, what you can then do, you know, so along the top, you've got a number of options. So you can change the color, or maybe go for a green star. And I've got a stroke there. Well, moment, no actual stroke, so let's give it a bit of stroke. So you can actually see it, 7.41. I'm using shape. You can also use pixel option, and I will use that in a few minutes. What you can also do, you've got various stroke options. So you can have like dots around the edge if you want to do that. But let's first create a star. Hold down the shift, and as you hold the shift down, so you can resize it, and it will not move like that. If you don't hold down the shift, you can create that, and you can obviously do that. But hold the shift down, and it will be proportional. Of course, if that's what you want, if you want it to be squeezed, you can, of course, always squeeze it later. Just do that, or drag that out like that. You can resize it, modify it in numerous ways. So simply polygon tool, and create the star. Now, it's also interactive, so you can change over here. Now, sadly, there's no controls on it. It'd be really nice if there was some sort of controls, sort of sliders and all those sort of things to modify it on the star itself. But what you can do, you can come over here to Properties, and you can find it in Window and Properties. You can also see it's a, a layer. You can see it over there in Layers. But properties, you've got all the same options that you had along the top. Now, I'm not selecting at this point the Polygon tool. So if I select the Polygon tool, you'll notice all the controls up here come back. If I go off and go back to, say, like the Move tool, you'll notice you've got most of the same controls here as well. There's a few slight differences. You can add them back there with Smooth Start Indents. And so I'm just going to run through those as well. These are all interactive. Unfortunately, like I say no controls on here, but you can change, move that. So you can see you can increase the number, so you can put it up to 50, 60, 100. Well, sadly, if you go the up down key, now one time in the past, you could do that. I'm quite certainly could anyway. <laughs> maybe maybe could maybe I'll just get another application, but certainly, so you can change it, but now nothing changes. It doesn't change as you go up or down. As soon as you press return, it will change. So it just takes that value in there. So if you move it like that. It will change, but use it here, up and down, will not change. So what you can also do, you can round there, and I can just quickly show you there, it can make it easier. You can see the design there, all the various, there are all nicely rounded now. Again, with that selected, and you can modify it here. Very quick and easy, just put it back to zero again if you want those sharp points. Also, what you can do, you can modify this, the star ratio. So if you want to, you can push it out to there. So you put it to say 93 and you get a very, very subtle star there. And of course, you can still do the same here with the rounding. You can see you could get a nice rounded design as well. So you can see there. But you can also, if you want, you can change that number of points, and you can also, of course, put it back to zero. Most time I keep it to zero. I don't, I must admit, very rarely use round, but it's just great. And also, if you want to create very sharp designs like that, very intense designs, simply put the value down to like 5% or something like that. Now, if you go, I'm just going to go back here. If you go up here and try and change these things, if you go up here and change this, you can do this. Now, that won't change anything. won't change anything here. When you next create a design and then another star, so if you go up here and you say, oh, I want that to be 40, that doesn't change that. You can press return, doesn't make any difference. It's only when you create the next star that you'll see design. That's purely for the creation. This is manipulating the actual live shape. And also you can go over here and smooth the star indents. Get rose of those. That's the way. The only thing it does, which is a bit weird really having three dots there just to remove one item, smooth star, but it does mean you can create an interesting star design where it's sort of a nice curve there. And again, you can still modify these settings. And also you can change 
And you can also change this as well. So you can, oops, don't want that. Doesn't like that. We'll put it up to a certain limit, and then beyond that, it will not. And also, you can, of course, change this as well. So you can see you can create a whole range of different star designs right there. Very quick and easy, simply by changing these settings. Well, you can also set, of course, other things as well. So you can just change here, the stroke. So you want to create a stroke or reduce it down. If you want dots around the edge, simply go there, or dashes, and you can change those as well. You can go down here to the gap. So you can say like four, maybe make that two, and so on and so on. So you can create a variety. So it's a, just the gaps change as you change that, make it five, the gap between it. So you can see it, or six, and so on and so on. Or maybe go for a slight variations, add in some variations there. You can see additional ones added there. Maybe make another gap, three, and so on and so on. You can create a number of co combinations. And you can also go up here and save the stroke. So if you decide you like that stroke, you can quickly save it as well. Also, you can change the fill. Now, the fill can be a gradient, and it can also be a pattern. So there's a solid color there. So you've got a solid color, you can run through all the various swatches. Also, you can go for the gradient, and you can select gradients you've got there, as well as the gradients down here. So if you want to go through those. So simply change the, the color of the star very quickly there, as well as patterns. So you've got a selection of patterns. Now your patterns may vary completely from mine. These are ones I created using brush strokes. So you can see a variety of different pattern designs can be very quickly added to your star. Now, of course, you can create more complex stars than that. So what you can do, I'm just gonna go up here, make the solid color, make green, and I'm gonna reduce the stroke. Right. So with that, what you can do, you can also, of course, add additional stars on top of each other, don't have to keep it. So hold down the Alter Option key, that's on the keyboard, the Alter Option, next door to the Command and Control, and you can just duplicate the design, resize the design, press return, and of course what you can do, you can change the color of that. So you've got a star there, so you've got two stars, and then you can align them if you want to align, don't have to, you could have them in different positions. And what you can do, you can, if you want to, convert them into a smart object. So smart object set, layer, and smart object, convert to smart object, perfectly reasonable. Or if you want, you can also go to a layer, and you can go to combine shapes, and maybe, you obviously, unite shapes not gonna be much use, but you can use subtract front shape. So you can create a different star design. And of course, you can hold down the alter option key again, duplicate that, and then, Reduce the size, of course, of that one. And then you've got that design there. Press return. Select both the shapes. Again, align them if you want. And then once you've done that, what you can do, you can go to layer, and you can combine shapes and unite shapes. So that's not exactly what I wanted. Obviously, I hadn't merged the two. Ah, oh, that's probably the reason why. Doesn't always work. However, what you can do if you want that design without doing the merging and going through it, I'm just going to quickly go to layer and smart objects. Generally, I must admit, I always use that. I just convert it into that, which is fine. I think, to be honest, all the pathfinders and merging, combining, uniting, subtract, most of the time I just go with this. However, what you can do then, of course, you can apply effects. So you just go to a layer, layer style, and bevel and emboss, and you can see create a whole load of different designs using that and change the size, change the contour, create different designs there, maybe add some stroke to that and so on and so on. Or of course you can always go to filter and you can apply effects, maybe like a Gaussian blur, like that. Or maybe hold down the alter option key again with that, duplicate that, resize it. And then maybe go over there, filters, Gaussian blur, and you can blur the design. And of course, you've got that star design there. And you can select both, and of course, align them, turn them into a smart object game. So that's, and of course, if you want to create a lot of stars, probably the quickest way, now let's just go to edit and fill. Let's go for the black background, just so we get nice stars here. And I'm just going to go for white. Of course, the stars are not always white. You can vary the colors, of course. But what you can do, go over here, and I'm going to set these back, maybe not so high, 30, go for zero, 
there. But what you can also do, you've got some options here or settings. What do you want? Path options, it says. What you can do, you can set fixed size or proportional. So if you want to create multiple stars the same, I don't know, two centimeters. Two centimeters. You can see you can create a star there. Resize it, of course. Create another one there, another one there, another one. Click. And you can simply add stars very quick and easy. Just simply click on the document and it will add. Now you have to slightly move it so it adds it, otherwise it will pop up with that panel. You can use that panel, of course. You can see straight away, you can create very quickly loads and loads of stars. Or of course, if you want to, sadly, there's no randomization feature. I would love that, you know, like um, in brushes. You've got brushes, you've got various random features. It would be brilliant if you could sort of randomize the different stars, number of stars, the size, the color, all those sort of things. Also, maybe, of course, even better, would be a nice little fill feature where you could just fill with the current selected custom shape or star shape design. That would make it even easier. So what you can do, simply just go over here to the polygon tool again, and you can always reduce that size, so let's say 20. And again, there's other options as well. You don't have to use fixed size. You can, of course, make that maybe a bit bigger. It was a bit small, four centimeters there. And you don't even have to do that. Maybe you could want it squeezed. So two centimeters, go for smooth. And you can see, create. Again, it always pops up. If you don't move slightly, just move just slightly and then it will just create it. Otherwise, like I said, click on the document, it will bring up this create polygon thing, which is fine, of course, but it's not what I want because I just want to rapidly add stars to my design. And you can do that. And of course, there's other options as well. What you can do, you can go down here and it's not have fixed. You can do symmetric, of course. You can also do proportional. So you can say, I want it to one to two. And then I can just simply add it like that. And every one I add now will be obviously like that, squeezed in by that proportion. And there's other options, of course, as well. So you can have it unconstrained. You can also have it freeform as well, which means you just move it around like that, which I think is quite nice as well. So you can vary the angle. Not that, of course, since it's symmetric anyway. What's the point? Of course, if you've got, you go over here, fill, and you can set maybe a gradient. So you've got a gradient there. And then you can, of course, rotate it. And you can rotate it. You can see again, same problem. <laughs> it's still, of course, but if you put it on top, I suppose, yes, you can very, very subtly, you can make subtle changes there. But again, unfortunately, the, it'd be really nice if the you could sort of set it so the gradient would rotate with the design. Of course, you can always go back to your fill there and you can change it after the event if you want. But it would be nice if you could make it, force it to always just rotate at the angle of creation. How it doesn't do that. But of course, once you've created your star, that's another way, of course, hold down the alter option key and you can duplicate the design and you can always rotate it. And again, unfortunately, the same problem, it will still have the angle. So you have to go over here and change that. A way around that is always go to a layer and smart objects, convert to smart object. Once that's a smart object, now what you can do, hold down the alter option key and now rotate. And now you'll see it does follow the design, which is what I wanted. So you can just see that, create those very quickly. There. So that's, I think, a fair run through of the star feature. I know some people put comments in other videos I've done earlier that some of the features in the star have been removed, changed. I think there's always such slight changes. And in that case, Please go and put a note on the various uh, forums and whatever of, of Adobe, all the bug report things. You, there's a whole range of different things. Put comments saying, I would love to see stars do X, Y, Z. Why not? If you don't say it, just moan about it sort of thing, which I do quite a lot. I must admit, I quite often moan and groan about certain things. But put a comment on there. And hopefully, over time, these messages will get through and you will get even more amazing features like star designs that are even more incredible. Double stars. I love double stars in Infinity Photo. Brilliant feature. However, the stars in here obviously are still fairly, there's not, there's a limited range of stars. But you can, of course, always, oh, before I finish, just suddenly thought, 
You can, of course, manipulate the star as well. You don't have to use that. So if you want to, you can always go over here to direct selection tool. Of course, not very helpful when it's just a spare. Let's just go back to the polygon tool, create a design there. And you can see you've got your star design. What you can do, direct selection tool. Yep. And you can then manipulate the points. So if you want to, you can, of course, change the star to create it slightly more different than the one that comes with allows me to see that and you can just move those out and of course you can always move them in as well so if you want to you can create some very unique and unusual star shaped designs simply by using that maybe not much of a star but anyway you can see the idea and of course what you can also do of course with stars is you can always reduce the number and this is the best way it's probably not so effective when it's 20 so set it to four and you can create a star like that. And of course, you can always create another star. And then you can combine the two. So you can add them on top like that. So you can create more and more stars, obviously, than the standard defaults that come with Photoshop. But I still think, hopefully one day, the star tool will have even more features. And actually, I would love to see an independent star tool. I mean, the triangle tool has got a triangle, I mean, I don't, I don't use triangles. I use stars a lot. Why isn't the star tool? Why isn't that available? It's very strange. However, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always add new videos all the time, Photoshop, Illustrator, and many, many others. Also, I'm always adding them daily, so please check out. And obviously, maybe please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Also, some comments. Always appreciate Put some comments. What did I do wrong? What did I do right? Please let me know. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.